All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Die Vernon False Cut. Um, I realized that in the last video I actually did this move, and I realized that I didn't upload a tutorial for this uh, for this cut um, previously, so that's what I'm going to do today, show you guys how to do that. If you guys want to learn more card controls, make sure to put that down in the comments, uh, or maybe comment some more things you guys might want to see on here, and I'll do that. Um, also, don't forget to check out the link in the description. Anyways, guys, here is the tutorial. All right, so here's what it is going to look like. Um, let's say we take the jack of spades is going to go on the bottom and the queen of spades uh, or the queen of diamonds is going to go up top here like this and you're going to have to have a table and what's going on is it looks like you're mixing up the deck moving around packets of cards but in reality nothing's happening you still have the queen on top and the jack on the bottom so again you're just moving around a couple packets making it look like you're doing more than what you actually are and none of these cards are actually getting mixed up so if you guys want to learn how to do this uh, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so um, the cool part about this is that you can do this cut in front of a spectator and for the most part they're not going to um, think anything's wrong. So let's say you've got like a poker game or something and you have the deck of cards on the table and they ask you to mix it up. You can also just kind of cheat a little bit and make it look like you're mixing it up. But in reality, like I said, nothing's happening. So I'm going to show you guys in slow motion kind of what's going on from this angle. So since the cards are down here, you guys can't really see... Um, the edge. So what's happening is, I'm going to break it down afterwards, but what's happening is you're taking a packet of cards from the middle, putting that on the table, taking the top packet, putting it right back on the middle, and then putting the, bo uh, the bottom packet on top of everything. And you come over, you switch that for the bottom packet, and you slap everything back on top and you are left with the same order. So this is how you guys are going to be able to do it. So you want to start with the deck on the table, um, kind of horizontal, so it's long ways here. And like I said, you have to have a table in order to do this. So what's going to happen is you're going to grip the deck with your thumb at the bottom here and your middle at the top right. So it's going to look like this with your thumb at the back, middle and ring um, over there off to the side. And what you're doing with your other hand is you're using your thumb in your middle finger here and while it's on the table flat and I recommend holding the deck up a little bit so giving it some uh, some space so the deck itself isn't flat with the table when I do it I have my fingers kind of gripping the bottom of the deck as you can see it's not laying flat I have a grip on the cards and what I'm doing is I'm using my middle and my thumb and I'm pulling out a middle packet of cards just like that leaving this on the table coming around with this circular motion so I'm bringing it down like this towards my body and lift it up and when I come back around the top I'm angling the deck a little bit towards the spectator so they can't see that I'm trying to manipulate the bottom packets here so what's happening is I'm kind of blocking the spectators view of the deck that's on the table I grab the top packet again with my thumb and my middle finger I bring that down to the deck so essentially I just took the middle packet out in the top packet and now it's kind of just back to normal all we have to do is put this back on the bottom so it comes back around and when you come back around the second time you angle it upwards and at this point I switch the grip with the deck so I go from my right hand here to my left hand let go with my right come back down and underneath I grab the bottom packet with my thumb in my middle and I grab that out swing it around and then put it back on top so that is essentially all you guys need to know for the uh, for the Die Vernon I'll do it once more slow down you have the deck here with your right hand you grab out that middle packet you put that middle packet to the bottom swing motion you grab the top you swing around the bottom you switch the bottom for your left hand covering up angling the deck a little bit towards the spectator so they can't see that you're grabbing all these pack it with your different hands, you switch it over, you cover up the break a little bit, grab the bottom, drop the bottom now, and put everything back on top. So guys, this is a Die Vernon. I hope you guys like it. Uh, like I said, guys, don't forget to put down in the comments if you guys want to see more card control uh, techniques or more kind of tricks. Make sure you guys let me know. Don't forget to check out the link in the description. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.